Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time, everyone, we're going to be taking a look at uh, <coughs> yeah, this first review I've done in a while. <laughs> Hard to believe. But anyways, <laughs> this time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series uh, Deluxe Class, uh, the RC uh, Sisters, RC Chromia and Alita One from the Revenge of the Fallen film. So we got RC here, Chromia here, and Alita One here. Uh, but anyways, the Ultra Modes are all motorcycles, uh, with Alita 1 here, her primary colors are just purple, silver, gray, and that's it. RC's is, well, bright pink, black, gray, that's it, and silver. Chromia's is blue with some number decals, silver, same colors, gray, and that's it. So, take a look at this, the backdrop here that they come with. It's the Shanghai battle scene from the beginning of the film. There's that. And basically, their involvement in the film, while well, they assisted Sideswipe in, the, in, the, uh, in destroying Sideways. And at the end of the film, or not at the end, but in the final battle in Egypt, they were all killed by Decepticon soldiers in in the battle so that's really about it um, they do come with accessories uh, they all come with each uh, come with bike stands they're going to be very critical for the transformation um, <clears throat> our seized weapon is this little blaster here chromia's is this little um, yeah that's the exhaust and that's the, pretty much the tailpipe, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is. Um, as for Elite One, she doesn't come with anything. Um, unfortunately, they don't really come with any kickstands. But, yeah. Now, you can see here, for how small that they are, their transformations are very, very complex. I'm sorry. They really are. So, let's set two of these off to the side. Let's get to RC's transformation. Because it's pretty interesting how it goes. So take this part, pull it up, take the arm, flip it up. Take rise chest around. And then what we have to do here is flip it around these little archways. <clears throat> Sorry. And then what you want what we want to do is we want to flip around I mean we have to flip around the ah, frig we gotta basically flip the wheels in on themselves so that way they don't uh, you know for the final part of the transformation um, yeah so forgive me this may take a while so there's that so yeah it's so yeah upper body here take the take the front of the motorcycle here okay that's where it needs to go we'll, we'll turn we'll turn this bit around then and flip go flip that around it's on a double hinge so there we go we can flip that in and then a tab in a ah, loud noise tab in a slot tab that into place sorry about that and then what we want to do is turn we're just going to keep twisting until we get to the upper part of the, the vehicle mode. There we go. Get this situated. And that's basically... And then we'll take one of the bike stands. That's not it. 
they're all different because they, you know, they all like are they all fit with their each. We'll take this. I believe this is our C's bike stand. But up, and that's our C in her robot mode. Uh, so there's that. And now we'll go to Alita One, and her transformation is similar. Take this arm, flip it up. Take the sides here, flip them down. Take the whole front of the chest. Turn this bit around. So there's that. And then this, this part will flip around. So we can get the shoulder piece around like this and fold this wheel back. And get this arm, flip it around, turn it like that. Flip up the seat, or what was the seat. Flip open this part. Then turn around this little bit, flip up. Flip up the, the waist, and then we'll just put this part around. Actually, turn this bit around here, and then trust me, I'm not the only reviewer that has had these kind of troubles with this particular figure, and this down like that and then that then we can just get another bike stand here we believe this is the one for Alita one here so we'll click that into place and I think it's the other way anyway flip that up So many rotating joints, and yes, they do pop off. So forgive me on that. So we'll pop that back in like that. Flip the head up, and there is Alita One done in robot mode. And finally, for Chromia, her transformation is. The easiest of them, well, you know, you know, flip this up, flip around this part here, and then what you need to do is turn around this part of the waist, turn this wheel like that, flip up the head, flip open the. You notice that she does have, like this is one of the few transformers that does the dab. Flip this bit around. Flip it back, and then get this situated, and then we will take this bike stand here, I believe it's for this part here, and, ah, yeah, that's, that's the, again, be my, it doesn't surprise me with these figures or with these particular figures. Anyway, and get that flipped up. Get it standed. And oh. there we go. Damn it, not again. Okay, yeah, that's, again, the transformation on these guys is a little bit tricky, but got to be really mindful of what can happen. Man, if only did, anyway. All right, so we've got that. Stand her up. But... Some sort of a tab and a slot here that can, or some sort of a mechanism. Uh, 
Anyway, get that situated. This is such a such an ordeal with this particular figure. All right, we'll just. So there you go. There you have the RC sisters in the robot modes. Their articulations, you know, uh, they go full 360 out to the side, bend the elbow on double joint and such. They rotate. Then the other arms, they, with Leo ones, it bends and rotates. RCs, it bends and rotates. And Chromia's, same thing. Has waist, has no feet articulation whatsoever, but it has a waist, and that's it. The accessories, uh, well, with particularly with Chromia, we will. There is, yeah, there's a port here. There is a, a port, yeah, small little port here. Pop it. Or maybe that's not where it goes. Maybe it goes here. I don't know. Ah, it goes here. Yes. So that so it goes here. There is that. And then the engine block does well nothing. So I'm just gonna set that right here then. I'm gonna try and pose it so that way you know. Nope. Oh, yes. Damn it. Sorry, it's, it's I guess I had her find four, but oh well. Come on. Come on. Stand. Thank you. Then our C's weapon. Um there's a little hole here. And yeah, I think it goes inside here. It goes inside the other hand. Sorry, I'm just okay. So there we go. Let me get her to stand. That's that. So, all in all, well, I recommend getting the RC, you know, sisters from Studio Series. I'd say recommended. No, actually, I changed my mind. Mildly recommended. And I say that for one reason, or two reasons. The transformation, while very, you know, while interesting, maybe the figures could be a little bit bigger. I don't know what to say, but the figures could have been bigger. I mean, I, already, I literally have the RC sisters in deluxe class form staring right, like, I'm, like, I'm, my eyes are focused on them. Um, Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, yes, they can pull off the fan-made RC combined mode thing. I'm going to show that off in a future video, because, well, why not? But anyways, all in all, mildly recommended, won't be disappointed by it, and looks pretty interesting. So that's my video review of the, excuse me, the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class RC Alita 1 and Chromia from Revenge of the Fallen. I'll see you very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible in the next video. And yes, the figure everyone. See you soon. Good day. I shall catch you later. Bye-bye.